Texas Hunter for Heroes uh, invited me just a couple weeks ago to come shooting, uh, possibly to come get a deer and to be able to be asked uh, by men who I don't even know um, was was just amazing. It, it felt like it was part of a team, part of an organization and everything got put together and I'm down here enjoying time with the men and really appreciate what they continue to do for men and women who come back and um, are still struggling, just enable them to get back outside and continue to fight the good fight. So the ATN scope has got a wireless connection that connects to a phone or an iPad and transmits that signal so I can see it. So I can see what he's seeing in the scope or what the gun sees in the scope. And they were just making adjustments to that and then telling him when to take a shot. Steady. Come up. Steady. Left. Left. Steady. Up. Right, even with the tear rise, come to your left. Right there, come up. Stop. <laughs> So I, I was able to shoot three shots on the first target, two inches high and an inch to the right. And the second shot, I was a couple inches down and a little to the right. And then the last shot was able to be quite a bit more zeroed in and, and got it right dead on. So a little low, but right in the right in the X. So it was a nice shot, felt good and ready for a buck. This is your morning. How do you feel? Excited. Didn't get much sleep last night. Excited for a, a nice shot. So I'm getting into the blind now and hopefully I don't go and get more sleep. So, hey, looking forward to the hunt. All right, I'm pumped. Gotta wait for the sun to rise and so we can see. Just uh, the intensity, the uh, excitement yeah. in, in the in the blind to know that there's a buck in my sights, and then uh, the patience 
uh, been in the blind for about a little over three hours, a little early morning, and uh, to know I pulled the shot and then uh, it was a pretty much direct hit and the, the deer died near instantaneously, so it was, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, you know, a renovation of, of, you know, where I was in the hospital, uh, you know, giving up on life and not really caring to understand that there is purpose, there is life, and uh, that there still can be joy. And, and just, you know, what, with what Texas Hunter for Heroes has opened up for me is just, you know, that I can still live life to its fullest. And uh, I may need a little assistance on the aiming, but it, it just opens up so many more doors. So it, it just, it's really amazing how God uh, can heal, um, continue to work through people's lives, so it's, it's great. Oh, I just really appreciate Texas Hunter for Heroes, uh, just them inviting me, their open arms, just uh, sharing an opportunity. Uh, this is my first deer I've ever killed, uh, just the pride I have, and just the, those who have stood by my side, my wife who's loved me, who continues to love me, just the family and friends around us. So I just really appreciate everyone, uh, Mr. Friday, uh, Mr. Uh, Troxclair, just open up their arms and let me hunt on this great land. So it's again a, a pleasure to be here and just uh, thank them for opening their arms.